Alex, reading about you today, <laughs> is this true? When you were a teen, you hung out with the Rolling Stones in a recording studio oh, yeah. with them. Oh, yeah, yes. What was that like? Uh, that was, like, you know, like... Like, a lot of, like, Keith Richards, like, <laughs> not making any sense. <laughs> like, how? What so, really, say? honestly, no. It was, it was, it was all kinds of awesome. Let's start with that. Uh, the first time I met them, I was doing this Tommy Hilfiger campaign with Jesse Wood, mm -hmm. who's Ronnie's yes. uh, son. Uh, and then Keith just ended up leading me around the studio, and I didn't really understand him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but after a while, I started because to get it. Because of his accent. Oh, yeah. It well, wasn't more, more than the accent. It's the whole thing, isn't oh, it? So, uh, it's, uh, I can't uh, read it. I just always end it's up too. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I got like uh, this. Uh, <laughs> and then I... Uh, and I was like, you know, whatever. And I, so then there's that guy. And you're like, <laughs> OK, but it's fun. It's a good impression, yeah. that no, guy. It's a good impression. It's not fun. But the thing is, is that he, he's making absolute sense. He just kind of is Keith Richards. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. And, uh, and then after one day, I, was, I ended up, you know, having the the opportunity to spend more time with them. And then I was like a translator. Like, right. I just turned into, like, understanding everything he was saying, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but he, he was awesome. I mean, you, Aaron, you've played so many Americans. Are people surprised when they realize that you're British? Um, I guess so. I mean, I... Uh... I mean, it's very fortunate to kind of be able to... I guess most of the roles, actually, that come out are actually seem to be all Americans. Yeah. I had the opportunity to just be, uh, be myself. You Even I that. thought you yeah. might have been putting on an accent when you were younger at school when I saw Kick-Ass, and I was like, <laughs> right. right, well, that's the best accent in the world. <laughs> so how, did you, how did you even uh, get so good at it? Uh, well, I, I almost sort of developed... A, it was more of a auditioning kind of process, because when I came over here, there was, you know, it was sort of trial and error, and I guess, you know, you go to an audition and most of the roles are American, so I, I decided just to stay in the accent because it was too complicated to kind of go, I'm British, English, and then them listen out, so... Yeah. But kind you of have go, a we... great accent. His yeah, accent, it's right. yours, it's was, yours, like, imitating me up there saying, ricotta. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> you know, his is, uh, he has an elegant, an elegant... Oh, my um, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I what lived in... I, just say? I my lived in England. I lived in England for uh, 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 This is an incredible accent. <laughs> And you know it is. You know that it's like, a great actor. But when you go to England, everybody <laughs> loves to make fun of American accents. And it's always like that. You guys are always like, awesome. I'm like, well, don't talk like, like that. Dude. Yeah. That's the other hey, one. guys. <laughs> you that always... does just sound like you, though. <laughs> 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 Anders, what's your British accent like? My British accent. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> <clears throat> right. You're welcome. <laughs>